What's going on everyone? Welcome to CES 2021 All Digital. We are doing day one coverage and today I am joined by Mike from Tekka Moon. Welcome to the channel. Hi there, how are you doing Justin? I'm good. So can you tell my subscribers real quick, what do you do on your channel? So I talk about mainly laptop stuff, uh, so predominantly Mac, and then I do a lot of other headphone reviews and just tech, tech in general, really, and a little bit of smart home stuff. Love your stuff, as always, Justin, by the way. But yeah, that's basically my channel. Well, I'm so happy to have you here. I loved your video so much. I was like, why don't we team up, make this a little more interesting? Because, you know, we're stuck at home. We're not able to be in Vegas this year, which is a bummer. But luckily, I get to wear sweatpants. So <laughs> it's not it's not the worst case scenario. Yeah, you couldn't, you couldn't do that in uh, CES last year, could you? No, no, I had to wear jeans. Anyway, this video is gonna be all of LG's announcements from today, and then over on Mike's channel, we are doing Samsung announcements. So make sure you head over to that channel after and subscribe. He has awesome content and it's, yeah, it's awesome. So uh, without further ado, let's get into the LG announcements. Let's start with their all new air care products that are called the LG PuriCare. These were designed to help protect from air pollution and allergens at home, commercial spaces, or on the go. They employ high performance filters and sensor controlled fans to bring you cleaner air. Let's talk about these face masks. What do you think of them? I think they are firstly quite large. They're very noticeable, you know. I, I, there's definitely a lot of tech that's in them, that's for sure. I think obviously with everything going on, it makes sense. But in terms of uh, the longevity of, of this product, I mean, can I see this being relevant in a year's time? I don't know. One thing that they didn't really talk about, but they showed it was a UV light cleaner that you can put in them as like a storage case, but also a way to clean it. Um, I don't know if I want it, but I want to try it. I know that for sure. It looks pretty high tech. And they also announced another mobile product called the Pure Care Mini, which is a travel size air purifier. And it's got a really cute accessory that you can put in your car, uh, the cup holder. I mean, why not, right? I mean, <laughs> it, it, it looks it looks so cool, and and it's and it's and it's very interesting that they've uh, incorporated that into the car because that's something that I would never have thought about of having an air purifier in the car. But we spend so many hours in the car; it sort of makes sense, especially here in Los Angeles, that you need a car to get around everywhere. And I oh, mean, really? There's also so much pollution over here. So I, I, I feel like, in, especially for my lifestyle living here, it could be a, a great, you know, they thing made to have it on for me. you. They made it for you. <laughs> it was made for me. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, the side by side refrigerator. This has been out, but this is a new and improved one. The InstaView door and door has a larger window that is increased by 23%. And here's my favorite part you can knock on it twice and it will illuminate and let you see inside of your refrigerator. I mean, who doesn't want that? <laughs> Exactly. And it also has some benefits because it means that you're not having to open up your fridge and let out all the cold air. So it's actually going to be more energy efficient and potentially make that fridge last longer. It's also got an advanced linear cooling and door cooling plus, which, you know, when you sometimes go into a store and you have all that air blowing on you to kind of, it, it helps insulate that store. So in this case, it helps insulate the refrigerator, making it even more energy efficient. Exactly. Okay, now for the coolest part about it. Um, I've never considered myself an ice cube snob, but now I do because this refrigerator not only does crushed and cubed ice, but it also has a craft ice maker creating these beautiful balls of ice for your beverages. <laughs> <laughs> that That is going to look incredible on when you invite your friends around and then you put those in the drinks they're just gonna think you're so extra <laughs> yeah I, and i am so uh it, it works perfectly <laughs> for me <laughs> yeah. and then also the water dispenser has uv nano uh which is a uv tech that eliminates bacteria this area has always been a hard to clean place on refrigerators and the fact that it's doing it for you is a great feature Next up, we've got the LG Wash Tower. Unlike conventional stacked machines, the controls are conveniently located in the center of the machine. LG was saying that 90% of users, including myself, 
normally just use the normal setting on a washer dryer. Well, this washer dryer has AI technology that detects fabric texture and load size, then automatically selects the right wash motions, dry temperatures, and precision fabric care. So here real quick, I think we should discuss how this is a peek into the future of smart homes, right? Ultimately, we want our smart home technology to do the thinking for us, and we just have to tell it to start. Or honestly, it could even start on its own if we told it to in the past. Uh, what are your thoughts on this? I think the fact that LG are introducing AI into their uh, appliances at home, I think is really smart because our clothes will last longer. And I think that is going to be the key in the future is that our washing machines and dryers are just going to be able to do all of that for us. So I think the only thing missing now is technology that allows it to transfer the clothes from the washer to the dryer. I'd like to see that next year. <laughs> Same. <laughs> <laughs> and there's also the LG app integration, proactive customer care. So what this does is it will detect upcoming possible issues with your machinery and let you know to the on your app. That way you can call customer service proactively. And then real quick, uh, let's talk about this Chloe bot. This thing is a robot with UVC light. It can go around hotels, gyms, and it will kill all of the germs. Um, it's got pathway detection, easy mapping that will allow for autonomous navigation, and they can also sense when they're being moved by someone, that way they turn off and it's not safe. I think that this is the start of uh, technology like this being uh, being available. Obviously, it's going to have a high price tag. So, you know, for us mere mortals, it's it's not going to be something that we're going to be able to get. But, you know, if LG is listening to this video, please send one to Justin. He'll happily take it. <laughs> now, let's talk LG OLED. First, may I say that the LG OLED TVs have always been like, in my opinion, the TV to get. Also one of the most expensive TVs you can get, but that crisp image, those true blacks are just incredible. And there was more OLED this year with the introduction of the G1 Gallery series and specifically the OLED Evo television. They showed some side-by-side -side image of the new OLED with last year's model and just based off those two, it looks like it's an incredible leap. Their new TV lineup includes an 83 inch size and all of them use the Alpha 9 Gen 4 AI intelligent processor. Now this allows for powerful upscaling. It can process each area of the screen and adjust it separately. It's got AI Picture Pro, which can detect objects and backgrounds within scenes and process each separately for clearer text and better image rendering can also optimize picture quality by automatically detecting content genre, scene conditions, and ambient lighting conditions. There's also some sound improvements. First, we've got AI Sound Pro, which allows the TV to upmix audio to virtual 5.1.2 channels, giving an immersive surround experience using the TV speakers. Here's a big one, auto volume leveling. So I know we've all experienced where you're switching channels or streaming devices and you see big difference in the level of the volume. So this feature will basically allow the TV to regulate the volume by itself. LG has also rethought the ThinkQ OS on the TV. You get that? That was a pun. Uh, I got it. <laughs> um, so, okay, good. I'm glad. The LG ThinQ OS has been completely redesigned. So now it resembles more of what you see from streamers like Apple TV or Chromecast with Google TV, Roku, etc. It will help you find video and content that you want to be seeing using AI. And just to let you know, Justin, it has the new remote as well. And I know that you've got the current LG TV. So what do you think about that? I absolutely love my remote. I love that I can aim it at the TV and it has a little cursor. This one seems all new and improved with extra buttons for streaming platforms. And it's got the introduction of a Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa buttons, which are gonna be, oh wow, she heard me, uh, which are gonna be super helpful for navigating around your smart home using that single remote. 
and the remote has an NFC chip where you can mirror your phone to the TV and vice versa. There's no word on which phones are compatible, but I have reached out to LG and we'll update you when we know. Next, we're gonna talk about some LCD upgrades with LG's new mini LED technology. This is something that we're seeing from other companies. Samsung, for example, is calling it micro LED. Uh, which we'll talk about over on Mike's channel. These TVs are called the QNEDs Mini LED. These screens give a bigger and brighter picture, better blacks, and a wide color gamut. They've got an advanced backlight array comprised of smaller LEDs, which allow for some better peak brightnesses, and blacks are more deep and precise due to precision dimming with thousands of controllable zones. The QNED TVs will be available in both 4K and 8K, from sizes 65 inch to 86 inch. LG introduced as well some new monitors and laptops. So they've introduced the LG Gram, which has got some amazing uh, technology in terms of the display. And also, which I know Justin's gonna be excited for, is that new monitor. So I'll hand it off to you. Yes, there is a new monitor and it's called the LG Ultrafine OLED Pro. Uh, I already have an LG Ultrafine monitor right back there that I'm obsessed with, it's a 27 inch. This one is 31 and a half inches and it's got 99% uh, sRGB and DCI-P3. So the reason why this is important is for color grading and for photographers. So for people like me and Justin who need to get these shots for you guys looking as, as amazing as possible, having this DCI P3 uh, color enabled as well as the 10 bit that's gonna be enabled in this as well, uh, it allows us to get to see as much color as possible, meaning that we're able to see more colors from our footage than let's say your standard monitor or even TV. And lastly, LG has rethought their ThinkQ app and they're making it an open lifestyle platform. So basically it seems like they want to allow people to harness their APIs to connect all of your technology or all of LG's technology. For example, they've teamed up with Nestle and Kraft Heinz, which will connect what you're cooking to your appliances just by scanning a QR code. This to me sounds like LG is moving into that smart home area where we've seen Samsung already there with smart things, which we also will go into detail uh, over on the video, uh, today's video on Mike's channel. Uh, Mike, what do you think about this? I think that with everything going on at the moment, people are cooking more at home and people are in the kitchen more than they probably ever have been. And LG uh, have sort of noticed that and they realized that with with their applications over the last few years, it hasn't connected as well with their smart appliances. And this is where Samsung has sort of taken the lead. So this is really, really good to see from LG because this means that everything will be connected. And if they can partner up with the right companies, uh, then they could really dominate this space. Yeah, and who, who knows what we'll see? Like, what if I, you know, I'm sitting in my living room watching TV and it can alert me on the TV as like a little update, like your laundry's done, the, you know, the oven is, has finished preheating, things like that. And it's all culminating into a smarter and more connected home. Uh, well, that is all we've got today for the LG announcements. Mike, thank you so much for coming on the channel. We have another video over on his channel, so make sure you guys check that out. And why don't you subscribe to his channel as well? And if you guys want to see more CES coverage from the both of us this week, let us know in the comments. Let us know what you're interested in because we want to tell you everything. Again, thank you, Mike, so much. Uh, I'm Justin, he's Mike, we'll talk to you later. Oh, that's not my outro, no. Okay, I'm Justin, and we'll tech you later. LG has, oh, this is where I was gonna make my pun. <laughs> uh.